Yang Zhuo has been slain by Lu Bu, but there's still no sign of improvement in the lives of the people. The Han court remains a den of iniquity overrun by those hungry for power. None of that will change in the slightest. Blast it all! How many bad guys do we have to take care of before this land gets better? The issues that face this land run so very deep. So what should we do next? The Coalition Army is disbanded. Should we head to the capital by ourselves? No. That would be unwise. If we were to attack the capital without any legitimate claim to power, our brother would be considered a traitor. Now is the hour of forbearance. The day will surely come when our strength will be needed. I know it is asking a lot of both of you, but you must wait for now. Please forgive me. There's no need to apologize to us. You just do what you have to do. Indeed, it is our task, as your sworn brothers, to support you in any endeavor. If you ask us to wait, then we will wait for as long as necessary. For as long as necessary. I can only hope that the people do not need to keep suffering for too long. Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Master Liu Bei, and your sworn brothers, I'm so grateful to you for coming here in our time of need. I've heard many tales of your courage and benevolence. I have asked you here to help me defend Shu Province. Cao Cao of Yan Province has grown stronger and now threatens us in Shu Province. I am old and am no longer confident I have the strength to keep this land safe. It's an honor to be called upon by one so noble as yourself, Master Tao Qian. I fear that I am unworthy of your praise, but we will certainly do what we can to ensure the safety of Shu Province. Ooh, summoned by a provincial governor. Looks like our brother's getting famous. Don't worry. We'll deal with Cao Cao for you. Yes. Our blades will strike down any who threaten the peace of Shu province and make the benevolence of our brother known throughout the land. If we can keep on helping those who need our aid, then peace is sure to come sooner or later. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, we must begin by bringing peace to Shu province. Master Liu Bei, it seems Cao Cao has begun to move his troops towards this castle. They say that his army leaves not a blade of grass standing in its wake. It is a terrifying thought. 
It is strange. It is true that Master Cao Cao's army fought with unusual ferocity and mercilessness in the previous battle. But the man I knew was not prone to such senseless violence. I know what has driven him to these acts. His father, Master Cao Song, was killed by one of my men in Shu province. Huh? So as far as Cao Cao is concerned, killing you would avenge his father. But I did not order his father's death. Some of my soldiers did it of their own accord, out of their own desire for his treasure. So they ended up giving the enemy a reason to attack. There's no way the enemy will buy that it was just a bunch of renegades who killed him. The crime of the murder of Master Cao Song is one that cannot be easily forgiven. But to torture and kill blameless citizens by way of revenge is a worse crime still. Indeed, whatever reason he may have for his actions, to lose sight of honor and threaten the peace of the land is unforgivable. He must be stopped. Yeah, we're not gonna lose to the likes of Cao Cao. You're my only hope. Please, I'm relying on you. I understand Master Cao Cao's pain, but his tyranny cannot be allowed to stand. Come what may, we must protect Master Tao Chan and the people of Shu Province. There it
I truly... It's me! That's... We're with you. Meet them here and ensure the safety of our allies. to cross the river. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I will always follow the path of honor.
care to let you interfere with Lord Cao Cao's plans. There's no way you're getting half this road. After reviewing my strategy, I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Hey. You fight alone? How do you know, friend? Hey. Hey. for now. Don't think you've won. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. to let anybody pass. I failed you, Lord Cao Cao. I will always follow the path of honor.
for now. Don't think you won. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Claim another victory in the name of my brother. it if we hope to make it through this thing. Shall be your opponent. 
How unlucky of you. destroyed by the enemy. What? We can't call reinforcements like this! <laughs> 